Hello there everyone, welcome back to our Restless Germans campaign where we are the Swebians and we have decided to pick up stakes and move, uh, well, we have partially moved from the Swebian region of Germania and we are now fighting a war against, uh, well, three kind of big powers here. Thankfully, the Scythians seem to be having to deal with a horde as well. They only have 14 total cohorts. This Bosphoran Kingdom kind of scares me with their 16 cohorts, but we, of course, are that this migratory horde. horde. We have quite a few men to play with here, but so many of them are of just of that super light infantry variety because, well, we have just picked up our horde and moved ourselves from one side of the nation or of the Europe to the other. I'm going to go ahead and press that unpause button and we are going to go ahead and get started. Now, I, there's a couple things I'm worried about. One, we're going to go ahead and take a quick and easy victory over the Taroshian army. You, unfortunately, are retreating. Yep, we are victorious. Did we just stack wipe? No, we didn't. But we didn't take any casualties either. So let's keep on moving to the south. By the way, I love the way the Swebian Unimodels look. They look great. We did get a victory here. Let's go ahead and bring this army. It is. It has eight cohorts of very light infantry. Let's go ahead and have it siege down Taras. We're going to have our kind of main army with these two heavy cavalry, which may just not be feasible with the amount of money I'm making. I might have to delete some of my cohorts. Like, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and disband them while I still can. And now I am barely losing any money at all, so I'm in better shape. Let's go ahead and move these 10,000 men to the south. We still have a decent-ish army here, right? Yeah, so that's a bunch of... That's, we don't pay any maintenance on the forces of our subjects. Looks like we're going to take another easy victory. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to hit the sacrifice button. We're going to lose some centralization, which is always good. We do pay for five stability, though. Uh, it would give us national tribesmen output up for the next five years. And happiness. I could use the happiness, I think. But the stability is actually going to hurt me, I think, even more. So we're going to pass on that for now. But we'll definitely be looking to capture some territories, <laughs> or capture some people. And use them as, well, ways to increase our tribesmen output. Now, one of the problems with taking these migratory cohorts is you tend to lose pops. For instance, I was in a fight with these. We did have eight, but basically it's kind of constantly consolidating them so that if I were, if I lose over a thousand men, that, that pop is gone. It's not if I lose the whole cohort, it's just if I lose a thousand men. And it looks like we are going to get the stack wipe. Perfect. I'm going to move these ten... Alright, so unfortunately they are not... So it's a fort level 2. So I'll need more than 6,000 men to siege that down. Let's go ahead and move these 14,000 men straight to Taras. As soon as Taras is taken, we could, we'll could we start to get... Well, we're already getting the ticking. No, we don't get a ticking war score because we declared an OCB war. Of course. Whoops. Oh, we got some barbarians a coming. Well, it says that we'll beat them, but I'll go ahead and move 10,000 men to go ahead and be sure. So I am feeling a little bit, all right, so we did defeat those barbarians. That actually didn't turn out to be that big of a deal at all. Let's go ahead and move our armies back down south towards the front. I would love to be able to fully occupy and capture some territory. I would like to be able to put a dent in the Scythian power. Ooh, and I have a lot of notifications up here that I need to worry about. So one, I'm running out of food here. Well, you're going to take attrition. Um, I can use a high priest. Only, let's see, who is scorned? You're scorned. We'll put you in charge. That gets rid of the scorned. I need a new researcher. 
We'll put you up there. And we still have some starving pops and some low food supply. Where are our starving pops? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's just going to be how it is. I would migrate you away, but we can't afford a migration. Well, no, we can't do any migration right now because we are at war. Gonna capture another man, maybe eventually I will sacrifice him, or maybe I will just go ahead and use that, all this stability that I have to uh, migrate my pops. I'm actually gonna go ahead and retreat you to here, back home, because you need to restock your food supplies. And I don't think I'm gonna need you. You have 11,000 men, but what kind of men are they? So they do have some archers as well as some horsemen, so I'll have to just beat them with sheer numbers, I think. Let's... Oh no! I almost missed it, but the Bosphoran Kingdom has come to the aid of the Scythians. And that's gonna cost me several pops, unfortunately. That's alright though, I'm going to be... I'm gonna win this fight, and eventually I'm going to gain more pops from this war, hopefully, than I will lose. So, we're still in decent shape there. I might think about disbanding my heavy cavalry. I just can't really afford it at the moment. Ooh, but we actually stack wipe the Bosphoran Kingdom's army. That's hugely important, hopefully. We are continuing to siege. Let's go ahead and move all of these men here. We get an archer advantage, but we just don't have a bunch of archers. And it looks like they actually don't want to fight that fight. What if I start... You still have plenty of food, so let's just have you keep going. These are just... Okay, so I actually do have some clan retinues here. And I get an archer bonus. Most of my archers. Alright, so it doesn't know who would win that. What if I took all of these cohorts and attacked you here? Oh no, we would probably come out on... I actually think I'm going to wait until they get movement locked. We'll see how... what kind of a plan this is, but I'm feeling better about this. I just want to make sure that I'm still in decent shape. Ooh, it looks like we have some of our reinforcements ready. We'll move both of them into Lumen and keep going. Or is that Lumen? That's Tumen. You're not movement locked yet. Oh, you have a really good general, don't you? So I actually don't want that fight, so let's see if you'd back out of it now. Nope, but your movement locked. Alright, well, it still thinks we'd win this. Oh, and we have taken Olbia. Let's let the... Let's go ahead and say that none shall hide. That will give us 45 gold, and we definitely need the gold. We're going to fight this fight. It does think we'll win it. I'm going to try to ensure that by moving some more troops in here. We have taken some Scythian territory. Perfect. Excellent. 100% good to go. I'm not at war with you. I'm still at war with Scythia. You're, you know what? Go ahead. Do whatever you want with those two pops. Or those two little cohorts. I, meanwhile, am much more worried about the Turgades. So, if we can reinforce in time, and indeed we do, good. Which means I do think we're going to be able to bring these 9,000 men to bear. I also think we're just going to win it. This is going to cost us some pops from those migratory cohorts, but in the end, I think it's worth it to win the fight. We are victorious for a second time over here. Good, good, all good. Let's just keep capturing territory. As soon as Tyrus falls... Ooh, you know what I should be doing every single time I get the chance? Ooh, I could pillage for some political influence plus some gold. Or I could raise the city. Or I could even settle it? What? Alright, so... Can I do both? Can I pillage and then raid it? Or raise it? So I would actually not lose any... Or I would not gain any aggressive expansion here. But I would there. I think for now, because of where we are with the aggressive expansion, 
which I know as a horde, I shouldn't have to worry about aggressive expansion because I, I need to just kind of keep moving from place to place. But with the whole food supply, I'm still like working it out. This is kind of my, my game to try to figure out how to handle food as a migratory horde that likes to migrate. So we have started migrating. I think for now, it's important to have just a little bit of territory wherever you go, just so that you can restock your food, because you can't always rely on taking territory from your enemies, taking food from your enemies, but maybe you can. Maybe we'll have to try that. Um, let's go ahead and just pillage the city, get a little bit more gold. Nah, never mind. Yeah, let's pillage the city, get a little bit more gold. Speaking of, let's actually move these armies back. Because they have some pillaging and raising to do as well. love for this city to fall. In fact, after this city falls, I might... Hmm. I wonder if it would be worth it for me to try to piece these people out as tributaries. I'll be a migratory horde, but I'll be a migratory horde with a bunch of tributaries on my back. <laughs> Could be a fun way to play. Tyrus has indeed fallen. Let's go ahead and place you in office. You seem to be decent. Uh, I can... Check, see if anyone's willing to trade with me. Does not appear so. Let's go ahead and I think I'm just going to have you settle here on the coast. Whereas you are going to pillage the city for some aggressive exp or for, uh, for some political influence. Let's have you come back here. I like how I can just settle these cities. I don't actually have to conquer him. Or I don't actually have to piece them out. And then, for just a little bit of stability, I can completely leave a bunch of destruction in my wake after I'm done. What's the... What's this look like? So we are majority Swebian. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe desecrate their holy sites. Um, I mean, is there really a reason to do that? Just to hurt them? I don't really care about just hurting them to hurt for hurting them's sake. And I think I might piece them out eventually to try to make them a tributary. Once I have, of course, sacked all of their cities. So we did win this fight, we were able to solve our money issue at least for now, although part of that did involve me actually having to destroy one of my armies. I'm going. It looks like they're going to try to make a breakout here, they are going to be the defender. I am going to go ahead and move all of those troops in. Now I'm going to stop and stop. 
We'll wait till their movement locks. How about that? They are movement locked. Let's go ahead and see if we can use these two armies to, well, make them have a bad day. I'll even move these 12,000 men in and see if we can solve something there. It does say that we're going to win this. I think we're going to win it quite easily, although we are probably going to lose some cohorts in this, which means we're going to lose some pops. And thankfully we were able to win that. Didn't turn out to be a huge fight, and they're going to bring 2,000 men in. That's going to be an easy stack wipe. They just wasted 2,000 men. Meanwhile, I should be paying more attention to what the Scythians are doing. I keep kind of turning away from them. Let's go ahead and come down here to Karkine, Karkine and maybe try to raise that city. Or I could, if I wanted, just kind of settle some Scythian lands. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to do that. So I'm going to leave them at this major straight crossing. They are my main army after all. And indeed, I'm just going to settle some territory, I think. Because settling these... Settling these territories after I peace out, I'll be able to migrate from them. And once I migrate, I will have all the pops that were in that territory. So there are three pops here. I'm going to add seven more pops to this real fast. Of course, part of this is dangerous because I am deleting armies, basically, even though I'm still not... I'm still at war. Why are you... Where are you going? Let's keep you there. Go ahead and move these 4,000 men out of here. Ooh, a religious proceeding. We don't want to lose that stability. We would much rather gain some stability. So I'm going to do that. Alright, so I was a little nervous about this when the episode started. I actually thought we were going to be in a lot of trouble with just the way we were losing, hemorrhaging money. We were in a war that was actually seemed like they might have had more men than we were really ready to handle. But in the end, I'm actually feeling really good about how this war went. We are going to just chase down these 4,000 men. That shouldn't be too difficult, although they do have some heavy cavalry. We should be able to finish this war by taking some tribute. I think I'm going to try to take some tributaries here. Let's go ahead and fight this fight. Which, having a couple more tributaries really should help out. Ooh, look at you. Move you this way. Having some tributaries should really help out my financial situation, allow me to build more of my own armies. Of course, one of the great things about... Ooh, and look at that, that's a stack wipe. You are now mine. I could go ahead and sacrifice you, but I'm going to pass on that for the time being. In the meantime, I don't guess you have to come that direction anymore. Let's go ahead and... Find a nice place for you to settle down. Probably right there. That'll give me seven more Swebian Pops. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of migrate over into the Scythian territories. I'm going to take these two countries as tributaries. Now, taking tributaries may actually be the wrong decision. To As a horde, I actually don't know that. I don't know... I've never really played in the horde mentality quite like this. Ooh, it actually thinks we would lose those fights. So let's go ahead and bring you... Bring you some help. Oh, nope. I know why it thinks we'll lose. We don't have a commander. Now, that is much, much better. Perfect. We're going to win another big fight. We are continuing to siege them down. Ooh, I forgot about Tyros down here. Maybe Tyros... Yeah, that would be... A decent city to go ahead and capture, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and move 14,000 men there. Oh man, look at the route they will have to take. I'm 
going to hope that they get here in time. We will have to see, though, as we have another 13,000 men. All right, so it's... Oh, yeah, in fact, we didn't even need their help. They even had the tactics advantage, but no, just the light infantry spam seemed to have done it. And we've taken that siege. So now, let's just go ahead and move on to um, Istros. Meanwhile, I'm going to move this arm, my... My kind of pop armies with my migratory cohorts. I guess you can... Nah, there's no reason to... I'm going to move my migratory cohorts over into position. We're going to actually settle this Scythian land, and then don't worry, we're going to unsettle it rather quickly as well. Of course, I could... Well, I can't unsettle anything while I am at war. I'm still losing money, but... Ooh, I'm actually losing quite a bit of money. Why am I losing money? Let's see. A lot of that is character wages. Hmm. And fort maintenance, but soon enough we're going to go down to just one fort, I think. We have low food in a lot of places. Yeah, playing as these migratory tribes, food is going to be tough. I think for the next fight I might try to make it so that I am not... I think for the next fight I might go completely migratory and not settle any territory. Looks like we got another stack wipe. We have captured someone else. We could sacrifice him if we wanted. We are getting back up there in stability. In fact, it might be worth going ahead and hitting the sacrifice to gods button again. I'll go ahead and do that. Perfect. I think I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I know why we were losing money all of a sudden. It's because one of our tribesmen gave us all his troops. All of, their, all of the clan retinues switched to my retinues. Yeah, that's a little bit better on the money front. We're going to go ahead and capture this last city. It doesn't appear like the... Well, we'll easily handle this little <laughs> bunch of 945 men. I'm going to go ahead and actually settle this area. Although, should I raise it first? Yeah, I'm going to raise it. And then I'm going to settle this spot. And I'm going to do the same over here as well. Yeah, so I think the way to do this is to just play it super migratory not worry about food, instead rely on stealing food from the people I am capturing. It's an interesting way to play. I'm still trying to figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and raise this city as well and settle it. And as soon as we capture Istros, I will go ahead and declare peace in this war. I'm still a little worried about the Scythians, but yeah, the Bosphorans I'm not upset about. Oh, he's gained Mintagra. What a shame. Ooh, arbitrary rewards. A message has been... A message has been from our arbitrator. It seems he has found some loopholes to increase our treasury or give us some more authority in civil matters. It, be it comes a bit sudden, but in smaller degrees, it probably will not affect the state in any negative way. We should keep an eye out on our arbitrator as his arbitrary ways and his arbitrary ways, though. All right, so we would gain a ton of money. We would get our tribal leader or tribal chief would gain some corruption but also and also our arbitrator would gain some corruption but man we'll look at all that cash we would make or we could get political influence i think i'm definitely going to take the cash we are getting closer to finishing this fight 
We just need for this city to fall. Let's take a look at this city. It's going to be a fun one to raise, right? There are 19 pops here. Okay. It's relatively well civilized at 46. Yeah, taking these civilized places, I think, is going to be... Or raising a bunch of these civilized places, I think, is going to be a ton of fun and also very important. Looks like the Bosphorian Kingdom is not through with us yet. I'm going to go ahead... Ooh, I actually can't settle them. I have to have greater or equal to seven migrants. I bet that is because they have seven pops there. Well, in the meantime, I can go and try to take care of some of this Bosphorian Kingdom. Issues that I'm having. Istros fall. Meanwhile, the Bosphorian Kingdom, it looks like they are going to lose those 3,000 men. I'm hoping for a stack wipe, although we will actually have to see how it goes. We're definitely going to do a ton of damage to them. They have the tactics advantage. We really uh, probably need to rethink a bunch of our tactics. Yeah, they ended up getting away with that. I think I'm going to keep going and do the National Tribesman output just for now. Let's get a little bit more money, a little bit more manpower. Not that either of those are necessarily in short supply at the moment, and I'm not sure I'm even going to need any of those because I'm going to continue pulling my troops. Oh, look at this. We have one. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, why can I not raise you? Territory controller is Swabia. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the territory controller is Swebia. Uh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure... Why can't I... Oh, I need 16 migrants. Migrants. I'm pretty sure I should be able to raise that. I would definitely take that... Uh, those research points. Interesting. If you know why I cannot hit the raise city button, let me know. It says territory controller is Swabia. Well, I believe that that is me. And I would like to burn this city to the ground. And I think I've earned that right. Well, in the meantime, I think I... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and declare some peace. We have utterly destroyed them. So let's first talk about tributary. So let's first sue Istros for peace. We'll make you a tributary. Perfect. Istros, you got away with one there. I need to make sure that my armies don't get stuck here, so I'm going to move them back into the area that we are occupying before I actually declare any more peace. I'm just worried that once peace is declared, I won't have military access through Thracian lands anymore, and then while my migrants would be able to walk back... Oh, you know what? I guess they're both... they're all migrants here. Oh, so I could have... Well, that's a shame. I could have settled that if I had just combined them into one army. Whoops. Oh, well, having them as a tributary is definitely decent. And you know what? Do you know why I probably couldn't raise it? It was because neither one of those army. I'm going... I'm willing to bet it was because neither one of those armies were over 16. Okay. Whoops. All right. Well, that's just my bad. Because neither one of those armies individually are over 16, but the two of them together obviously would have been. So I, I could have raised it. I just... I was being silly. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm going to... Piece all of these people out separately. Let's go ahead, get some more... Another tributary. 
Yeah, another tributary, I think. Wait. Can I not piece them out separately? I'll go you, sue for peace. You'll be a tributary. Cool. And now, this is going to put me way up there with that aggressive expansion, isn't it? Of course, oh, that's actually not that bad, too. Of course, aggressive expansion is only bad if you have territories, and I'm talking about getting rid of most of my territories relatively soon. So, currently we are losing some food. But I'm interested to see how the tributary thing works, because if we... Do we regain food when we are in our tributaries? Looks like we'll have a rebellion soon. Oh, I bet just someone doesn't really like the fact that we are, uh... They're overlords. We have some a scorned family. Ooh, it's the Hildgains. Alright, so we definitely want to put some of them in charge. You can be in charge. We'll also put Hildgain as a researcher. There we go. Now we're fine. Kudos to the Hildgains. We're back in a decent space as far as our stability goes. I'm still going to try to move my more of my pops from up here. Let's go ahead. This one is going to be a huge migration. That's 12 pops. And we'll go ahead and grab you as well. And you. I'll go down to 30 stability. I think I'll be happy to do that. Let's move you all south. Ooh, an inspirational neighbor. Our interactions with our neighbor Scythia has shown us how their bureaucracy and administration work and in ways that differ from our own by introducing some of their customs into our own system. Okay, so basically I have a feeling that they... No, we don't want this. Uh, a group opposing these changes are led by Segedus Hildegangs. As it seems... He and his followers know how it would affect their authority if the changes were brought into Swebia. I'm going to say that maybe he's right. Let's just keep going. Let's stay very decentralized. We definitely want that. Plus, it doesn't hurt to have him be more loyal to us. We'll go ahead and do that. So let's see. It seems like the Tyros and the Turgedi, they are disloyal and they will join a rebellion the istros though will not well if they are going to fight us again they're going to fight us again i'm kind of okay with that we are going to have even more men ready to do battle with them next time how sad someone's gained dementia what a shame let's go ahead and deal with these barbarians they shouldn't be super difficult to handle I think I'm just going to not settle my pops. Um, well, do I actually regain food here? No, I don't. So I will, to get food, I will need to be in my own territory. So I think my strategy is to just kind of ravage territories like I did with Scythia. Come here, and then when you run out of food, move on to the next. I will be like a devouring swarm. Okay, that could be interesting. <laughs> A devouring swarm that leaves nothing but burning tributaries in its wake. I love it. Let's go ahead and move all of you. Uh, let's just move you, like, to here. So, I think, yeah, I'm just going to leave a bunch of, like, little areas dotted around the map. Every now and again, I'll move them around. But yeah, I uh, as I run out of food in places, I will move my devouring swarm, my devouring hordes somewhere else and um, take the food that they have there. So let's see. Now the question is, where do I go next? Thrace, you scared of me? Scythia, how long is our truce? Probably I'll go to Samardia. The Samartian lands. They look to have some food. Oh my goodness, they have 12,000 food. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna go take take uh, take some food from them. So food is well, actually that's kind of crazy because that's very much like it was back then. A lot of these great migrations that occurred, they happened not because you know people were looking for places to conquest, but people were just looking for more food. For freedom! You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the pops. Alright, so we have won our first migratory war. It was kind of brutal, but we were able to gain some tributaries from that. We will work to increase the tributary... Well, first of all, we'll need to work to increase tributary loyalty. So, if we can just stay strong... We should be in good shape. We could also work to... I mean, we have plenty of political influence, so we might as well just start improving opinions. Both of those help. Now, they don't seem to like me, so because they have negative... And because they have a negative opinion of me... Oh, and that aggressive expansion. All right, well, aggressive expansion's always going to be high, so our tributaries may always be pretty disloyal. But... That's all right. It's just because so much of what we do relies on raiding and everything, so we'll have to... Uh... You know what? Let's go ahead, and while we're at it, let's just fabricate a claim on you. You are allied with the Scythians. You have decent territory. Two forts, both protecting some decent civilization value. I'm pretty sure we could easily win any fight we fight there. So, let's go ahead and move. Ooh, and how much food do you have? Alright, so just 200 food. But that's alright. How much food is in this Scythian land? 500 food. That's enough for our uh, cohort seat for a while. We'll have to figure out what the capital of this province is. Because once we take the capital of the province in, when we, because when we declare war on these little blue people, the Chersonians, it looks like the Scythians will be brought into that fight again. We, that's not a problem. We're going to be fine. Uh, we might actually have to fight this rebellion real quick first. Whatever. That'll happen in 28 months. I'm not worried about a little rebellion. We've smashed you once, we can smash you again. I'm actually going to go ahead and create... Oh, Dominant Culture's not Swabian. Well, we can fix that, can't we? Let's go ahead and just settle you four, and then we will go ahead and I think... Loses, loses the arthritic trait. Good. Yeah, so we will go ahead and start unsettling some of this territory, getting ready to, well, take more ter of the of our tributaries territory as we go. As long as I can keep my tributaries really small, then I think that loyal or that um, power relative to Overlord will always offset the aggressive expansion. So then all I would really have to do is just keep them on good terms with me. So speaking of good terms, so like I don't think I'm ever gonna have to worry about Istros assuming they are not they don't grow it substantially. I don't think I'm ever gonna have to worry about them because of that power relative to Overlord. I'm gonna go ahead and improve opinion with them as well. Might as well just keep them nice and happy. And so now the dominant culture should be Swebian. Yep. And so I will soon be able to migrate them. I have more of my migrators coming my way. Just kind of keep pulling them from Germany. They've heard tales of this great and rich land on the Black Sea and have decided to pick up their families and move all the way south. Oh man, it's, it's definitely more complex. I'm definitely having to think a lot more, especially about food. Which is good. I, I definitely like the fact that the game is more complex in the Livy update with, you know, the food, the army food system. I really love the army food attrition system. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and build that granary. Not that it's going to matter. I like the fact that, you know, my armies cost food and now food is a huge resource if you're playing for a migratory tribe that you kind of have to worry about. 
I'm just having a good time trying to figure it out. We'll go ahead and unsettle you. That's going to be 10 men. And even though only 7 of them started out as Swebian, all 10 of them will be Swebian now. It looks as if we have handled our loyalty issues because the, or our rebellion issues because the Tirgati, as our aggressive expansion ticks down, as well as the opinion of Overlord ticks up, then we are all of a sudden in a much better shape as far as our tributary loyalty goes, so that's good. Let us then go ahead and as soon as we do get that claim, and I know we don't necessarily, that's not how you play as a migratory Horde, a devouring swarm. <laughs> the <laughs> restless Germans, the devouring horde that they are, they are going to go ahead and fabricate a claim just to make sure that everything is all on the up and up and legal. Any trade routes? Nah. Might as well hire a new arbitrator. He helps my aggressive expansion tick down a little bit faster. Can I get someone maybe with a little bit more... Like, for instance, if I go to my researchers. Alright, so your statesmanship isn't great either. But if I hired maybe someone else here and then went to my offices and hired you, your statesmanship is a little higher. So that. Alright, so now it's at least helping my aggressive expansion tick down a little bit. All right, so all of you are running out of food. Let's uh, solve that situation by maybe having you come and sit on Lumen or Tumen. And uh, yeah, so I was a little nervous about where this episode was going to go when we started because, well, we were migrating but not really in a super strong position. And while it doesn't really seem like we're in a strong position right now, I actually think we're in a really great shape as we move forward. We have definitely won that first migratory war we have taken three tributaries which is going to help us monetarily in the long run we are continuing to migrate our men from Swabia all the way down to the coast of the Black Sea I think that our devouring horde is just going to play this game so that we are kind of constantly at war I'm probably not going to do a ton of well I'll do a lot of settling, but I'm only going to settle territories that we are taking in war, and I'm only going to do it to take their food, because food is now such an important resource in the migratory play style. I'm still working it out the kinks. I'm still trying to figure out how the migratory hordes with the you know the different food style work in this version of the game, but. I think we're doing a pretty good job so far. That is where I'm going to end it for today, but look for the next episode. It should come out tomorrow or even maybe even later today. We'll see what happens where I go to war that will bring with this little country that will bring the Scythians back into it. Also, look out for our next mil or military tradition. I haven't decided what I'm going to take yet. Maybe something that, uh, well, who knows what I'll end up taking. We'll see what happens. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any ideas or tips for playing a Migratory Horde in the Livy update of the game, uh, since it is pretty new and there has not been a lot done about Migratory Tribes yet, let me know. Hit up those comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see where we're going, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you on the next one.